everyone, and welcome to another episode of General Warfare. How are you guys doing? How are you guys Great. doing? Good. Never better. Awesome. We're back at it with another game. We'll get to the introductions. I'm Stefan. And joining me today is Phoenix. Oh. Is Adam. So, normally how we do it on this channel is we have two styles of games. Our first one is our CDH game, games with our decks that have pretty much an unlimited budget and like turn, go off on like turn three combo style. So, and the other one is our $50 budget league. These decks are basically at a $50 budget level based on tapped out and Star City Games pricing systems. Today is a budget game. And starting with, let's say, Phoenix, just explain your deck, explain the general, and what it does. Yeah, I am Phoenix. I am playing Mythic of the Is Magnus. Ooh. Magnus, yeah. Basically, I want to create such overwhelming value. That everyone is just fucked. Can I say fucked? It's <laughs> 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 a family channel. Hey, hi, my name is Adam. I'm playing Dreddy. Scrap Savant. So, this is an artifact rummaging and land destruction deck, and I hope to win after blowing up everyone's lands and bringing back more value and then no stole gargoyling them. So, we're playing Grenzo. Here. And he looks a lot like the grandfather of Dreddy. I don't know if lore-wise that's a thing, but they look, <laughs> they look like they could be related. Now, generally when someone builds a Grenzo deck, they try and manipulate the bottom of their library to get as much value as they can. Not this deck. What this deck does, it doesn't care what's at the bottom, it's Great. always oh, value. Mm -hmm. It's always yeah. value, and because of that, I will win today. And today, I'm going to be playing my Scion of the Earth Dragon deck. You've seen this deck already before on this channel. This is basically nicknamed One Punch Dragon. Basically, it's getting Scion out and attack with a ginormous one-hit kill Scion of the Ur Dragon. I really hope it's not me. I really hope it's you. <laughs> How about we see inside the game? All right. To war! All to right. war. Okay. Yeah. 
Now the brewery can do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Or taps the scissor. Oh, nice. And then it's a soul ring. That's good beans. Oh yeah, I don't care. Turn? Yeah. Let me tap. Upkeep. Draw. Go to combat. Do it. Adam, you take one. He takes two. I don't know, if you go a lot more mana than I do, you should want to attack me for three. That's one. Yeah, I'll attack him next time maybe. This is just a balancing game right now, you know. I see. Second main phase. I'm gonna play Goblin Friendly. Ugh. And take him. Okay. Draw. I'll play a Jungle Shrine. Nice. And say go. I'm kind of frightened. I guess I'm in the path here. Seven. Can't you cast Mirror Battle Sphere? Ooh. I get four Mirror Tokens! Wow. At the end of your turn, I'm gonna use Grand's ability. It's a swamp, it goes to the graveyard. And tap. You have a lot of scary. And draw. I put a combat. Or Maybe has three general damage. It's true. Stefan, take three. Oh. Phoenix, take one. Turn. Yeah, I really want to murder you. Why? You're an asshole. Why am I an asshole? You're an asshole. Yeah. I can't wait for Stefan to kill you out of nowhere. Probably will. You can't. You're not flying block. Yeah, I read it's pretty hard to deal with Stefan around. <laughs> You have your own dragon. Go. Starting my turn. I guess that's it. I solidly, solidly the limits of what I can do right now. Tap. Keep draw. Break man. Play magic. I'm gonna tap four. Cast your ready. Scraps the box. Yep. Don't use ability. Let's go to two and Oh, man. I'm gonna tap three for a deal broker. Do you have a three three? I have a three three, a one one, and a zero two. That can, I can sacrifice a goblin to regenerate target creature. To regenerate a target creature. That's how it's worded. Yeah, you can take it with four mirrors. Okay. Yep. At the end of your turn, I'm going to use Grenz's ability. I get a Shriek Maw. Shriek Maw is going to target. Not an artifact, yes! Not an artifact, not a black creature. <laughs> I have to kill your own guy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I break your Shriek Maw with a terror. Yeah, it is terror. So I sacrifice the goblin. So cry? Just cry, yeah. With Viserys here. Yeah. Untap. Oh, keep it in drawing. I'm gonna cast Mog War Marshal. I have something. Like Oof. Two. Okay. So that gives me a goblin token when it comes in. I got one. reaction. I intend might win out or two. Which kind of I have like no mana. That's fine. As long as you lose. Well, <laughs> going to combat. You know you think, you know sure. Well, Stefan, Phoenix. Yeah. Three each. Go. Cool. Right, turn. One, two, three. I'm gonna assault I charm. So just drawing two cards and discarding a card. Cool. Okay. Discarding a target. Tap, upkeep, draw. Bad, not bad at all. I'm gonna cast Monastery Siege. Choosing Dragons. So after that, I'm gonna pass turn. I don't know. Yeah. Two. Alright, I'm gonna tap. You need to come to the 50. It's okay, you're gonna, you're gonna go. You're gonna storm out. 
I'm not holding him does it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem possible to what I hold in my hand. But like, he pulls it off. I'll, I'll, I'll find a way or I'll die. Can't say cap dies by that. Targeting? Targeting. Stupid sisters, right? Okay. In the turn, I'm gonna cycle tectonic reprobation. I'm gonna cast Pirate's Pillage. Discard a card, I make two treasure tokens. Okay. And I draw two cards. Like, wow, that's a good card. Prismatic ones. Tap one red and we cast Faithless Lily. Sounds good. Discard Steel Hellkite and Sisay's Ram. That's some value. Yeah, four mirrors of Phoenix. Yep. Guys are minus two to ready. Two to here. Bring this back. Yeah, flying blocker. You're ending your turn? Yep. At the end of your turn, I'm going to sacrifice Mob War Marshal to the Viserys here to scry one card. Yep. I'm going to leave that there. That gets me another Goblin token when it dies. Starting my turn. I draw. I get a land. Wow. Oh. Okay, the Hideous Plunderer. Wait. Oh, oh, oh that card's scary. The card is a card. Art is a card, definitely a card. Very good. I will pass my turn. Tap, upkeep, draw. Tap six, I'm gonna cast Cylindar, the Drifting Death. Ooh, what does this do? Oh, so scary. Flying hexproof, whenever a dragon you control attacks, creature, creatures defending player controls gets minus one, minus one, till end of turn. Oh. After that, I will pass my turn. Starting my turn? Yeah. Girl. Yeah. Adam, you feel like he's beating me up. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. I mean, you can win out of nowhere. I'd like to. I'd really like to win out of nowhere right now. Cosmetics. Magnus. Guess that's all. Gonna scary. Tap deal broker to draw and discard a card. I will discard Soul of Nephyrexia. Oof. Okay. At the end of Phoenix's turn, I'm gonna sacrifice a Shriek Maw and one Goblin. Yeah, you get to make two whatchamacallit things. I get to scry twice. You get to scry twice and make two whatchamacallit things. I'm gonna sacrifice two treasure tokens. Cool. To use Grant's ability. That gets me a priest of Urbrass. Yeah. I have one mana floating. Red. I use two of it to pull out murderous red cap. Targeting uh Grenza. Duretti. A uh, Duretti, sorry. Boom! Wow. I then will sacrifice it to the Vasir here. And this is where the magic happens. If you keep it at one, he can't use wait, he can't use the minus two. If you kill it, he can recast it and use the minus two. What's the minus two right now? Where he swaps something with it from his graveyard. Right. The key with the ready is keep it at one. Okay. Cool. I still have one mana floating. Yep. Oh, good. Yeah. So I'm going to sack the Priest of Urbrass to the Basiris here. I get to scry yes. one. You get a treasure token. And a treasure token. All the dumb cards. So with the one red I have floating and the treasure token. While you play Murder Red, right? I'm going to use Grenz's ability to get out a Zulipa Cutthroat. Oh, yeah. Your company infinite. Adam, you can start your job. I'm going to tap deal broker to draw and discard a card. Yep. I'm going to start a match. I'm going to tap. Tap all my mana. Yeah. Oh, eight red. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to deal cycle. Blitter. What? Here comes the obliterate. A cycle decree of annihilation. Same thing. You're going to blow up all the land. You're going to blow up all Are you land. giving Tim the game here? So, you, so what you're currently doing is blowing up all lands? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna respond. Cool. Yep. So I'm gonna sack the murderous red cap to the Sirius here. Mm -hmm. It comes back into play. I already know it's on top of my deck. I'm gonna leave it there. Treasure token. I get one treasure token. But when, more importantly, I will ping Grenza for one. And Zula port's in play, so people lose life. Oh yeah, each opponent loses one life and I gain one life. Yep. Then I will let that happen. 
Um, are you gonna do anything, Stefan? Passing. I mean, I guess if I'm about to lose all my lands, I'm gonna use this capsize on something. Yeah, experience counter. Yeah. Um, I'm bouncing the hell kite. Okay, all my lands are gone. I'll play one off your turn. Oh, I drew a card from the cycle. Right. One, two, sack this. To play Pilgrim's Eye. To get another land. Yeah. And I'm gonna pass. Cool. Go ahead and start my turn. Time for turn. Now, Stefan, what are the chances that things coming at me? I don't know. It right killed, four of, it killed four of out of three turns. He, he's, uh, Mystics can't die from this. No. There's stuff, stuff on your side and both and out of side that have that are one power, one toughness rather. It's true. What are, so you pick dragons, what you will, right? What you will like to offer me. Dragons is still my god. I don't know. What do you want? No. Like I have a kill spell in my hand. It'll cost two more mana to kill this thing. I have some you mana. Can, and you can't even target it because it's hexproof. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. All right. So. That's if Gucky's mood at this yeah. point. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so. This <laughs> Gucky's gonna kill that. Let's go ahead. Cool. I'm gonna pass. Tap up. Draw. It was the bad time to stick a cycle decree. We'll see. Force. I'm gonna be the only one off my hand. Unless I draw land. It's Tap rough. I still think you gave Tendo the game here. He has a sack outlet and he can produce mad. I mean, Phoenix still would advance my Hellkite that was gonna blow up all his shit. So. You were blowing up all my land. Going to combat, swing it at him for three. Other things get minus one, minus one. Let me take three. Oh. That will be my turn. Come on, Mythic, come back from this. No path turn. Deal broker, do you draw the strike card? Fucking looting for land. Need six to get to Doretti. Once you hit six, you basically win. No. That's not true. Once I want you discard, it's really hard. I just go trading moves. I'm gonna tap, sack this, play Garbone's Eye. Then I'm pass. At the end of your turn, I'm going to sack the murderous red cap to the Viserys here. Right. That gets me another treasure token and I get to scry. And we all lose a life. And you all lose a life, and I gain one life. I'm gonna put this card underneath. I'm gonna use two of the treasure tokens yep. to play a skeletal vampire. Yeah. That comes into play with two bat tokens. I don't have bats, but I have rats. I mean, he was gonna go off like this anyway, but he's gonna have less mana. Flat bats. They're, they're, they're flying bats. Then I'm going to sacrifice one of them to the Viserys here. Maybe. To get a treasure. treasure. Maybe and I could have gone lose, up. We all lose one. We all lose one life and I gain one life. I'm going to put this underneath. I'm going to do it again with the other bat. Okay. So you each lose a life and I gain one life. That gets me another treasure token and I get to scry again. I'm going to leave that there. So I'm going to start my turn now. I get a mountain. And then I'll pass. On tap. Okay. And his Viserys here, dude. Yeah, it's probably the next attack. And the Zillaport. Probably. Probably the attack. I don't like how you're also rebuilding and trying to direct it to 10. Yeah. I That's mean, what yeah. does. Like, the question is can you stop Adam? I can stop Adam. No, you, you stop me by winning and killing us all. I can stop Adam. I've got combat. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What? That's true. It's from my turn. Interesting. I bought a land. Oh. Great. Go. So that's one less. It might be relevant. Get to play Dark Steel Citadel. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, what? Two, three. Oh, shit. I think I'm just going to play Steel Hellkite. I'm gonna pass. Alright, at the end of your turn. It was relevant! <laughs> at the end of your turn, I'm going to sacrifice Skeletal, Ske uh, Skeletal Vampire to the Viserys here. I'm gonna leave this because that That gets me a treasure token and I can now get the top part of my deck. I'm gonna leave that there. And I'm gonna start my turn. Tap 
tap three. You should have hard casted it. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna tap three. So bad for me. What hard cast can you do? And sack two really treasure bad. tokens to play the thermopod. Okay, so he's got red men on board. He's, this is running out of things. I then pass. Tap. Okay, draw. Oh, this is not the right time to draw you. That's a lot. Of Dude, you're getting rid of those. Yeah. Before. Yeah. I'm sorry, Tim. It's okay. So you're swinging at me? I'm gonna respond. Can you give all your guys minus one? I'm gonna respond. Yeah. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sack uh, this token yeah. to the thermopod for one red. Yeah. That gets me one treasure token. Yeah. I'm going to use Grinz's ability. So I get an epitaph golem to the field. Oh. Is that a 1-1? One, one? No, it's a 3-5. You, you each lose a life and a game on there. Yeah. I'm then going to sack the Viserys here to the thermopod. That gets me one red mana and one treasure. I use the treasure and the one red mana to each, and I get oops, oops sorry, I gain one life. I use it for Grenz's ability. Flesh bag marauder. <laughs> I sack the flesh bag marauder to itself. Adam, I sack the bear bouncer. That gets me another treasure token. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I'm doing. Um. After that, I'm gonna pass turn. I'm done. Forge of Heroes. I'm going to tap oh, six for Duretti and Forge of Heroes in to give an extra plus one plus one counter. Any experience count? Um, loyalty uh, counter? Uh, yeah, extra loyalty. Uh, one blue. I don't know what I got. Counter target Planeswalker for one. That'd be a pretty fun card to play that, right? Okay, five, go ahead. Okay. Got no, minus two him. Mm -hmm. Sack this. Get back to your battle sphere. You have four dark if this. Then I pass. At the end of your turn, Aaron, I'm going to sacrifice two treasures for one black and one red mm -hmm. to flash in Munitions Expert. When Munitions Expert enters a battlefield, you may have it deal damage to target creature or planeswalker equal to the number of goblins you control. I control two goblins. I'm going to kill the red. Going to start my turn. How many times has already done? That's twice. That's twice, twice, yeah. Close to your turn. Draw for turn. I'm going to go to combat. Yeah. I am going to swing at Stefan with a 4 3 and Phoenix with a 3 3. Okay, take four. That's my turn. Tap up. Draw. Yes. Go. I choose Tempro Draft Bath. Yeah, you steal Broke at the end of the turn. Tap four. Four. That's a blasting cannon. So then I'll like, keep uh, the top card right. in my library. It's a non line card I cast at this turn. Cool. Done. At the end of your turn, you don't know to act with your Alright. At the end of your turn, I'm going to use Epitaph's Golden's ability. So I put a creature card from my graveyard on the bottom of my library. I'm going to put Skeletal Vampire. Yep. I am then going to sacrifice Munitions Expert to Thermopod. That gets me a treasure token and one mana. I use one mana I have here to get out my Skeletal Vampire. That gets me two more Rat Bats. They are bad. Can you start your turn? Then I win. I sacrifice this for two mana. I sacrifice it for one red and one treasure. Yeah, okay. I use the, that mana to put it on the bottom of my library. Wait, how much mana? Mm -hmm. How much mana does it cost to put them on the bottom? Two? Two. So the mana it costs to put them to... to, yeah, to put, you just make infinite creatures. No, he makes infinite mana. Yeah. Because he has the two bats that he yeah. do the same. So then I sacrifice the bat for one red. Okay, I can respond still. Okay. So you're doing it the first So one. I put him underneath my library. Okay, I'm gonna tap this to draw a card and discard a card. I'm continuing. I'm gonna sacrifice one rat to the thermopod for one red mana. That gets me one treasure token. Yeah. I use that to bring back my skeletal vampire, which gets me two bats into play. And yeah. you're you're dying because every time I do it, you guys lose yeah. life. Yeah. You can't do anything, Stefan? We are being drained for lethal all of us. Alright, so I just keep right. doing that cycle over and over and over again until the Zulu for a cutthroat murders all of you. I float four right. mad in response. Technically, Adam comes in second. Wow.
Can't believe you just pulled that out. I didn't even know I was gonna get infinite bat rats, so that's just kinda Land bats. Oh just bats. And you killed the stupid steel helco. Yeah, the steel helco was scary. <laughs> it was, to be fair. But you blowing it up basically just gave Tim the game. No, he had it anyways. I just slowed him down. Okay. I already sped it up. Yeah. Anyways, that being said, I'd like to thank Phoenix, Tim, and Adam for joining me today. And thank you, Stephanie. If you guys liked what you watched, don't be a stranger, be a subscriber. Hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification to be notified of any future gen general warfare videos. You can all fo also follow us on our socials. We have a Facebook at General Warfare MTG and Twitter at General Warfare 3. So once again, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time.